we will learn about positional encodings, rotary embeddings, and multi-head attention in this video. You can click the Colab notebook below to follow the video. So we have sequence length of 10 and dimension of 10, of 20 sequence length and 10 dimensions. So if I uh, create a vector that is 2D vector of zeros with sequence length and dimension. Let's see what that means. That means we have 10 in one uh, array, and then we have 20 of those arrays. So the dimension uh, is 10. So imagine this as having 20 tokens, and each token being embedded in a 10. Uh, um, so here we have sequence length of 20. Imagine this as being 20 tokens in a row and dimension 10. And imagine each of these tokens having a, a 10 number long embedding vector. So if I create a positional encoding and I assign NP zeros with sequence length and dim, if we print that positional vector, we're going to see that we got uh, 10 of these zeros and we got 20 of these uh, Arrays. So each array is one. Let's say let's say one uh, token. Okay. Now let's go for position in sequence length for i in dim. We're gonna say position and uh, encode position encoding and position i. We're gonna set to one. So we're gonna set everything all of these to just one. And then we're gonna plot just plot all of them and let's see with, uh, with, let's see what that looks like. So here. Let me zoom in. Uh, so this color is one. It's like blue color. And here we have uh, dimension. So it, it's 10 of these from 0 to 10. And here we have a positional like sequence positions to 0 to, to 20. Everything is same color because everything is one. So this this is the matrix that we have that we have here. Now I'm going to comment this uh, setting everything to one. And let's, uh, let's uh, set each of these to this position value. So position values go from 0 to 20. So now I think we don't need that. But basically here, uh, 0, you see here, 0 is this purple color. And we go all the way down for each of these. There is 20 of them. And then 20 is this yellow color. So this is just to show you. Uh, I want you to understand step by step how we are encoding these positions. So this is position uh, zero in the sequence. So let's say we have 20 tokens. The first position, let's say, encoding with this color and then with this number, it's zero. And then the last one has number 20. So let's go back. And now let's actually delete this print because I don't need this print. But uh, let's, instead of pause, let's uh, pass this position through a sine wave. So let's uh, draw this. Let's see what this looks like if we pass position through a sine wave. Here you can see that it goes from this kind of blue to this yellow. It goes back rising. It goes down. So it's kind of oscillating. And what we can also do is uh, let me print the values here. So here I added this print statement below that's going to print this position uh, sign. So you see these numbers. So they are like uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.6, blah, blah, blah. Do we go down? They are kind of oscillating. So now each of these uh, colors is a value on sign. When you pass this position, corresponding position 0, 1, 2, 3, through a sign function, you get these colors that range from minus 1 to 1. So then what I want to do is just separate, uh, use sign on even numbers, even positions, and use cosine on odd positions. So now we actually get something similar, but you see now it's uh, separated on this uh, like x dimension as well. Here I have some visualization of sine waves. So you see this red sine wave. It's a bit sharp, but this is just I think the drawing like, but it should be like smooth uh, in reality. So the red is very frequent, and then the green one is less frequent, but it's all sine waves. And then the blue one is even less frequent. And then this purple is so inf so like so infrequent that you, you can only see like this beginning part of this sine wave. And now I'm going to uncomment uh, these. 
So instead of now, instead of saying just sine, we have this a bit longer formula. So what this longer formula is going to do is it's going to uh, make the beginning ones more frequent. But as we go further, so this is a um, this is length of the embedding vector. So each of the, so this is ten dimensions in one embedding vector. And so let's say we have one token. It has ten these uh, dimensions in the embedding vector. We see that the lower dimensions they're very frequent. And then as we scale up, you see that this is a bit less frequent. Although I think it's not shown here. And then uh, as we scale up, it starts to be visible right here. And then it exponentially starts growing. So this one is very uh, scaled. And then these, you can't even see the difference anymore. So this is uh, this lets us for the each, uh, each of the numbers in the array of the dimension embedding vector, we scale them up. So we incorporate the position of each a number in the embedding vector. So now we can distinguish between lower dimensions and higher dimensions. And each of these have separate, uh, they, they all have separate functions in the embedding vector. So there are going to be some numbers that encode something. Each of these 10 has separate. And now I'm going to show you this. I told uh, Cloud AI to create rotary embedding. So let's first take a look at the image. You see here that uh, it's kind of this is frequent and then this is less frequent, less, less, less. But then we go back to frequent again. So now let's go uh, up here. If I increase the number of, let's say, dimensions to 100, let's see what happens with the image. You see that it gets kind of just spread out. So now it's instead of 1 to 10, it's 1 to 100. So it gets cut off at 50 and then starts repeating. Let's see what happens to the image if I increase sequence length to 20,000, to 2,000, sorry. Yeah, there is a bunch of like new stuff here. So I'm actually trying to understand this, what this, what this does, because this uh, concept of rotary embeddings, I'm actually just getting started with it as well. So I'm going to leave you this code below so you can play with this. And here you can pause and read if you want. But the way I'm understanding it is, for each position in the embedding vector, you assign an angle uh, according to this formula. And if I'm not wrong, the higher the position, the more exponentially larger the angle is. Just keep increasing the angle. So that's why here, you see how it kind of grows exponentially here. So angles are very small here, 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 and then start to zoom exponential growth. So this is uh, done to distinguish between positions. First, uh, the beginning positions. And this exponential growth makes it like, helps it a lot to distinguish even more than just linear growth. That's how I'm understanding it. So this is how you encode position transformers. And I believe in other types of uh, neural networks. And then when you get this angle, you just pass it through a sine or cosine and then concatenate them. So I'm then guessing that this first uh, part, left part is sine, and then the second part is cosine. But my explanation is not the best because I'm trying to understand this as well. So I'm going to leave you this notebook below. You can copy this into uh, GPT or Cloud, Cloud AI and ask it to help you. Now let's do a simple attention mechanism. So we have a query key and value. A query is going to be a torch of dimensions uh, 1, 3, and 4. So this is batch size, query length, and model dimension. So let's just say we have, you don't even know what these, like, what these are. Just uh, you have this tensor, this tensor, and this tensor. And then let's pass in a simple attention a query key value. So here, attention scores, we multiply query and key, but we transpose uh, keys we uh, swap uh, these dimensions four and five. So now that we multiply them, we're going to just uh, multiply. So it's going to stay one here. We're not going to change that. And we're going to multiply three, uh, four matrix with four, five matrix because this is transposed. So we're going to say three, four times four, five. And the resulting matrix should be one, three, five. 
and here we have 135 which is which I'm, uh, I'm printing the shape here okay let's apply softmax and here we can see that after applying softmax we also get 135 so the softmax as you know will convert the raw scores into probability distribution so it's gonna stay the same dimensions uh, and then let's apply attention weights to values so we have attention weights which is a softmax and, and values so it's gonna be math mul. so we are multiplying uh, 135 with 154 so we're gonna get 134 because fives are inner uh, dimensions it's gonna cancel so we get 134 and this is the final output and now i can also say uh, print output but those are gonna be random numbers because everything is random here but we can see what it looks like now let's do all of this in pytorch so here i said uh, single head attention i say uh, nn module so d model is d model now let me go here we're gonna say the dim model dimensions is four attention is single head attention and pass in this model dimensions which will initiate it here and then query is this uh, torch uh, torch random and then uh, key and values as well and then output is we say attention and pass in query key value and when we pass in this query key value here it's gonna go here to forward and let's see if this will actually work yeah i think it works so query is gonna be a w dot q query ah okay sorry I, I skipped this part so first we define a linear layer which is gonna be weight for query it's gonna have a d model and d model it's going to be a square matrix uh, weights for keys and weights for values and then we just uh, define like these these uh, so we can uh, forward pass through them these layers and then scale dot product attention so attention scores is torch math mul multiply uh, queries and keys but we transpose the key as i explained later and then we scale down the product so we stabilize so softmax doesn't have uh, very small gradients for very large inputs so just stabilize number numbers and then uh, attention weights we're going to do softmax attention uh, for attention scores and then output is going to be matmul uh, attention weights and values and so this is the same thing that i explained earlier and it's uh, one three four so this is because uh, d is 4 here so 134 times 145 because we are uh, swapping the dimensions and then as i explained earlier this is the what we will get now let's do multi-head attention so uh, i defined so let's say uh, d model is for a number of heads two so we pass in uh, dimension of the model and number of heads so we initiate it so when we initiate it's gonna call this init uh, and then number of uh, model dimension must be divisible by number of heads heads are basically parts of the embedding vector so dimension of the model is in the embedding vector embedding vector is corresponding to each token and when you say multi-head attention you divide the embedding vector so each part of the embedding vector can be separate can learn some separate thing about this token so for example uh, if we have token apple uh, and the one head will learn about context company of uh, apple company and the other head will learn uh, apple in the context of the fruit etc so self d model number of heads and this is dk so this is uh, t model over number of heads so now we are also defining the same linear layers as in pre previous example for weights for key uh, query key and value and this is the output linear layer so this is just weights for the output in the end and now let's split heads so we are reshaping 
uh, this. So we have this uh, number of heads and dk. So uh, dk is the dimension of the of each head. So instead of having one big embedding vector, now we have a bunch of small head heads. So first, um, so we separate embedding vector into these two. So number of heads. Let's say we have like four heads, and then each will have two uh, two numbers, the array of length two. Batch size, sequence length, and then this is going to be x dot size. And here we will just uh, transpose. Yeah, so this will actually return this uh, vector that I was that I have commented here. So it will convert this x, which is batch size, sequence length, and uh, dimension uh, embedding dimension into this number of heads and dimension of of each head. So this is what what's gonna return this, and then forward pass we just say uh, well we split heads and then we pass we pass this uh, query and then we also pass this key and then we pass this value and then scale dot product as I explained earlier we need to uh, stabilize the like just the numbers here and then uh, we do. Wait, 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 wait. No, these are attention scores. Calculate here with math multi multiplication. And we also stabilize here. And then uh, we apply softbacks and then head outputs, attention weights and values. This is as before. And then concatenate has to apply output transformation. So we just concatenate them and then pass through the output uh, layer and return the output. So if I run this, 138. Now I'm also trying to understand this. So I actually understand most of it, but I still struggle to understand how this plays into the whole uh, transformer and I'm still not able to code whole transformer. So let's, I'm going to leave you this below so you can copy this into ChatGPT and play with this. Check out my channel where I'm learning to become AI researcher in about one and a half years from now, and we can learn together.